Hi and welcome guys. Uh, this will not be a shaving video. Uh, I just want to express my gratitude to everyone who prayed for me and uh, wish me good luck with the surgery and uh, wish me a speed recovery here. It warms my heart, you should know that everyone. It means a lot to me to have that support from you. Uh, I'm home since the day after the surgery, so I came home uh, Wednesday evening, but uh, I have been very weak and with incredible pain, <clears throat> so I have not been able to, I'm still not able to do any shaving video actually. I just wanted to express my gratitude with a short video and at the same time do a beard mapping here when I have the chance. I have six days of growth now. So that will be very interesting and feels lovely to shave it off when I have the energy later. Probably next week, someday. We will see what's happened. Um, I'm, um, the surgery went uh, without complications at the surger, surgeon. And um, he got the big mass out, it was uh, between uh, the muscles inside the left hip, so I have a wound from the arcus bow on the ribs here, down all the way to the thigh. <coughs> but uh, I will be back there in three weeks and I will take the stitches and take off the dressing and uh, then I will get an answer what it was, if it was a lipoma, I really hope it was only a lipoma, nothing else. Uh, it was a very big mass they took out. It, he actually took a photo of it, the surgeon after, and showed me. Um, it looks like a gigantic pizza with a ham and cheese on. It was quite gross, actually. Anyways, um, I'm gonna. Uh, I just wanted to express my gratitude to you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very, very much. Um, I cannot walk uh, without crutches because my left leg doesn't work as it should. I cannot bend or even dress myself yet. And the pain in it is a little bit better after now, after a few days. Um, I take no morphine anymore, thank God, because that really screwed me up. I can't. I never take morphine before, and it was very, very, very uh, big effect on them. So I'm happy to be without them now. I take only paracetamol. Anyway, uh, we have a great chance to see how the beard grows here, and it grows as you can see from north to south all the way here it's here on the chin it take a little bit of 45 degree angle here from the middle and here on my neck <coughs> it's like uh, 60 70 degrees from the adam's apple in this direction so if i should i'm gonna demonstrate here with a eraser if i should be by the school book should shave with the grain like this, which is very unpractical. Um, so I probably going continue it just to across like that to passes. I knew uh, I had this kind of growth because I tested with a cotton ball before, but now I can actually see the direction it grows. So that's how to map a beard in a short, short lesson. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I hopefully be back sometime in the end of next week probably with a heavy beard. Let me know what you think. Should I uh, use bloom water as a pre-shave then or can I go directly on uh, a very heavy beard with a very good soap? Is that enough? What do you think? Please leave a comment. 
Thank you for watching and thank you again for all your best wishes. Bye bye.